pronounced hydrolysate, not hydrolysate. I've learned. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Happy Monday. A new week in my life vlog, whatever it turns out to be. I don't know. I'm sitting at the desk in my room, my mom's craft room, whatever it is, and editing right now for a video that I'm gonna post midweek, probably Wednesday. It's 9.16 a.m. right now, and I actually woke up at like 6.30 or 6.40 because I don't know why. There is no because. Honestly, since I got here, like in March, I have not really slept in at all. I mean, I think the latest I slept was once. I slept till like 9.30, but I haven't set an alarm once either because I haven't had to go anywhere in the morning. And I usually wake up in the 8 o'clock hour, but lately I've been waking up more like 7.30 just on my own. I was just reading this morning and just chilling out. I made some coffee finally, and we're getting to editing. So, got a bit of work. I always feel most productive on Monday mornings. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Oregon stay-at-home order is technically like lifted. Well, I don't know about the whole state actually because Portland is still has restrictions. But they've started opening things in most places so basically they just the system here is by county the counties had to apply to the state and be like hey we this is what we've done have to meet a certain criteria for the state to approve them to open in certain phases so here in bend we were approved i, I say we but like i don't really live here i'm just here for an extended period of time but basically businesses can open to a certain degree so technically we're not under stay-at-home order anymore i don't think i don't know there was never an end date on it we're not really changing how we're living our life or anything here so i am still staying at home largely quarantining and keeping distance when i have to go out but i was basically saying before like oh yep same old thing like quarantine but technically i'm not like forcibly quarantined anymore we're still you know gonna do that so it's been rainy the last few days which is very unusual here at least we're in the desert here kind of it's called the high desert because it's up in the mountains also so i haven't been able to go on a walk in the last few days so i don't even think i'm going to today because it's gonna rain later oh shoot i was gonna do a workout up on the deck today but obviously if it's raining that's not gonna fly i finished my chloe team two week challenge this weekend and now i took a rest day yesterday and now i'm entering the next phase of my workouts and i want to be more methodical than i was before the challenge and i really like the structure the challenge provided but I did think it was like too rigid and hardcore. I was thinking that I would incorporate some of the challenge workout videos into the Whitney Simmons Alive Inside. I definitely feel myself losing muscle and I want to build more muscle or at least maintain what I have while I can. I was thinking I would do maybe, we'll see how this goes, especially if I'm inside, doing the Chloe Teen cardio video to start off that's 15 minutes and then doing an alive inside leg workout and then ending with a chloe teen ab workout i feel like that'd be a good balanced cardio strength ab situation so that's what we're gonna try at some point today first editing i feel like i've been talking forever that's what's up that's your monday update cheers my mom has this handy dandy mug warmer at her desk so very useful i take forever to drink coffee nowadays i'm savoring it as a part of my quarantine routine <laughs> workout first i did the chloe ting hit with it the one that's called lose do this every day to lose weight <sighs> still catching my breath but i don't want my heart rate to go too far down and then i did alive inside week two day three i started doing this in order a few weeks back and now i kind of just pick and choose which workouts i want to do i look at a few of the exercises and now i'm gonna go and do the chloe ting abs in two weeks video to finish off my workout for the day Wow, feeling less bloated today. I already had water and coffee and stuff, but look at that little baby ab line. It's also the light coming in, but who cares? We can pretend. It's finally nice today. We've had some like eh, weather lately, but today's sunny, so I think I want to go for a little walk. It's a beautiful day on the river. It's the first time I've taken a walk in a while because of the weather, but look at this. <laughs> I've walked over four miles now. I'm about to be home and I'm trying to decide if I want to do another home workout, like a Whitney Simmons workout or something, because this is enough cardio for today. But we will see. 
this project has been a long time coming. If you remember when I started knitting this scarf long ago, ran out of yarn, took a while to get more yarn, picked it back up, and now three spools of yarn later, whatever they're called, this is where I'm gonna stop. I still have one more thing of yarn, but I'm gonna make a few like small pot holders with it instead of just adding on to this endless car. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. Well, I mean, it's not really the product. It's more about the journey than the destination here because I just wanted to knit mindlessly. Actually, I have a good amount left on here. I might knit another couple rows really quick, but I wanted to film me casting it off because I filmed when I was teaching myself to cast on. I guess I never really did much of a knitting tutorial. Not that you should learn from me, but live knitting. Um, you just go behind, twirl it around, pull it through, bada boom. I've kind of put off um, finishing the scarf off. So we're gonna do that today, much closer to the end. I'm also using 10 millimeter bamboo needles for you to work with. Remember when people used to like flip pencils in high school? So now I've knit myself I was never good at it. little swatch to live on my needles forever. I wanted to enter the real world. So what we're gonna do Relatable. is bring it over this stitch. Wait. Okay, so I'm I gonna to use my two. left needle to help me out. Pull it over the second one. Drop it off. And there we go. First the stitch that went over it is down here. Here it is. There it is. So let's get to knit. Oh, this is easy. One more stitch, and now I've got two stitches on my right needle. And then you just pull now it over. Now, casting off, you always need two stitches on your right needle. Now you can see that the stitches that we've cast off are making a nice little edge. Okay, one she's stretching me out with the speed that she's so going at. But yeah, look at that. We're casting off, folks. So I'm just going to keep doing that. It's actually simpler than I thought it was. I'll catch you when it's done. Yeah, we just got one stitch we left. We need to secure this last stitch, right? So I'm yes, going to take this do. yarn, bring it over the needle like this. I'm going to take this loop, this last stitch, and bring it over that tail end, pull it through, tighten it up, and voila! You're well on your way to becoming a knitting master. Great job! Woo! Hit series. So if you difficult. want to work together to help out beginners, it's done. For more cool I just had to cut this off. Ta-da! She is complete. Look at this scarf. Super long. It is pretty long. It's very like structured and not like fashionable. But you know, if you're bundling up and don't care what you look like, who cares? Very warm <laughs> for next winter. Okay, so. Something just came in the mail, and I mentioned at the end of my last vlog, if you saw that, that I'm doing a little sprucing up of this room. We're replacing literally one item, but I think it'll make a big difference in the room. I kind of explained in that vlog, but this is like the guest room slash my mom's craft room in my parents' condo. It's not mine, but I did discuss with my mom, and I had this idea. Basically, they bought this place completely furnished, so all of the, you know, things like lamps and comforter and artwork came, well, they brought some of their own. That's actually me. <laughs> My dad took that picture. Anyway, most of the stuff came with the place, so the decor and everything is like this western theme, and personally, ignore this giant lump, there's a blanket under there that I didn't feel like fixing. Um, personally, I just don't really dig this comforter and the colors because the thing about this room is it's pretty small and cramped not much space and there's this giant mirror here along the wall that helps kind of reflect it and make it feel bigger but I think the dark colors are making it feel more cramped so one thing I mentioned before is underneath the sheets are light so I took this comforter off just to film in front of it so it was less distracting and I actually liked how it made the room look so much more. So my mom and I did some discussing. We looked through a bunch of different comforters online and we both found one that we could both agree on. It's not my room, so this isn't like my number one pick. I would have probably just done something completely solid, plain, and light. We found one that has like a pattern that she likes that ties in some other stuff too, other colors. I thought it would still look nice because it's a light color so it'll brighten up the room. Here's the before shot of what the room looks like. I took a couple wide angle pictures on my phone too. So you can see just how small and cramped it looks with this. We got this giant ass box. Ended up getting this from Bed Bath & Beyond. I need scissors. Excuse my reach. Hello. This is what you call extreme home makeup. Ta -da! Okay, this is a full slash queen three-piece set. So it comes with a comforter 
and two pillow shams kind of like this cream ivory color and it'll tie in the colors that are kind of already in the room like the beigey cream taupey brown the picture made it look like there's gonna be like shiny gold on it but it's very subtle shams Oh my god, I like this so much better already. The colors work really well with what's already here. Throw these back on. That is not half bad. All right, folks. It is a little wrinkled from being in the box, but hopefully just letting it sit out or maybe running a steamer over it later will help. Look at this. Does this not make such a massive difference in how light and bright and big the room feels? I'm obsessed. I actually like it better in person than I thought I would because I thought the like weird gold was going to be too much but it's really very subtle if there even is any. We still have the shams which we may or may not use. Let's see what my mom thinks. Ooh! Ta-da! I forgot about it. Doesn't it look so nice? I mean it's wrinkled so yeah. cut it some slack but I think the room looks so much brighter and more peaceful. Do you like it? Yeah do you? Yeah I like it fine. I mean, okay. it's not my favorite kind of thing, but... I'm curious because it said that it was going to be, like, gold Yeah, foil. I thought so, too. But these are not, like, shimmery at all. But I kind of like it. It's very subtle. And this is exactly what I was talking about, Christy. This is just what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, like, like a tone of tone, but just a little bit of taupe to totally. kind of tie it together. So, yeah, I'm fine with it. Nice! Like, Yay! High five! We found something Happy good. Happy birthday to us! Especially if we, like, steam it out a little bit. I do need nicer. to get rid of these, though. I thought they were okay. Do you? Well, they help with the contrast, because there's something else to put in there. I don't like the cowboy thing. <laughs> this is very cowboy. It's a very neutral cowboy, though. Okay. Chaotic cowboy neutral. Why don't you like cowboy? Because it's just not us. Why not? When I was younger, Oh, I used to like wearing cowboy boot. Get that. We'll put that up in storage. Yeah, we can put it in the oh, bag. Yeah, and it came in if you want. To yeah, that'd be good. Now we got to get some paint in here, huh? You got your painting clothes on. Yeah. You want to paint the roof walls? Have my painting clothes on. <laughs> One little change makes a pretty big difference, I would say. But if you have any suggestions of what else we could add, you know, short of painting the walls yet, um, to make it like brighter and homier, let me know. I just figured this vlog wasn't very cohesive, so it just needed a random ending. Me opening a literal comforter was the highlight of this video. So that was the start of me trying to maybe spruce up my room a little bit while I'm here. It's been a day and I still really like it. It's very comfy, would recommend. It's great to sleep under. It's not as suffocating and warm as the striped one, which I like because I don't like to be overheated when I'm sleeping. We may or may not paint the walls lighter. I don't know. It's still up in the air, but let me know what you guys would do. I'm not really that creative when it comes to room decor diy kind of stuff that's never really been up my alley let me know if you have suggestions anyway that's pretty much it i'm trying to think of other things i wanted to say to wrap up this vlog but i kind of touched on what i'm doing for my fitness routine now but i think instead of going into more depth i'm just going to make my next video kind of like a fitness update and what i've been doing since the chloe teen challenge ended how i'm like keeping track of my health and fitness in quarantine so let me know if you guys would be interested in that and what kind of specific things you'd want me to touch on i feel like i'm incognito right now with my hat and my glasses and my hoodie all i need is a mask i just filmed like a couple random things i was doing this week um like i've said before i just haven't really been motivated to vlog much of my weeks just because it's so repetitive and so not exciting me staying at home so i'm gonna try and do some other fun videos and like other challenges and stuff so let me know if there's any specific things you guys want me to try or challenges that i should do while i'm here hope you enjoyed this vlog of a few things i did this week love you so much subscribe if you're not already to stay tuned with my quarantine vlogs and my eventually going back to new york vlogs and all of the room decor stuff to come and all that jazz so thumbs up love you guys so much i'll see you next time bye